Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Well, music can be used for all sorts of things in our daily life. We use it as background noise, a calming source. Some associate music to a certain time in their life. And now researchers at the University of Missouri are studying how music could also help the brain development of premature babies. Teresa Snow explains in Focus on Your Health. Each year, experts at MU Healthcare's Neonatal Intensive Care Unit treat more than 500 premature and critically ill babies. While healing often involves surgery and medicine, it can also involve music. Hey, love, hey, love. All it takes is a few notes to capture Ayla Campbell's attention. This spunky, smiley baby has developed a love for music ever since she arrived 16 weeks early, weighing less than two pounds. I couldn't hold her, but I could put my finger on her back. It was here in MU Healthcare's Neonatal Intensive Care Unit that Ayla received her first visit from a music therapist. Her heart rate would just go down and her oxygen was going up. If someone had told me that this could happen just from singing, I wouldn't have believed it. As a trained music therapist, Emily Pivovarnik has seen similar effects on countless babies. In the NICU, she uses music therapy to help babies eat better, regulate their stress levels, and adjust to stimulation. There's a lot of really good information about that in our research literature already, but we want to look longitudinally at this data and see if there are long-term effects of this intervention on kids' neurodevelopment. She's starting a research project to look at the long term effects of a specific music therapy intervention called Multimodal Neurological Enhancement, or MNE. This therapy combines music, gentle touch, and rocking designed to help a baby's brain develop. We get them before their brain is fully developed, and so it makes sense that whatever therapy we can target while that brain is developing would help them. Over the past eight months in the NICU, Ayla has grown and developed. She's moved on from therapies like MNE to playing with instruments. As the Campbells prepare to head home, they know music will always be a part of Ayla's life. We can all learn the same song and sing it to Ayla and, you know, do instruments together. It'll definitely be part of the family. Bonding to a shared beat. You'll never know Ayla, how much you about 135 babies will be involved in the research project. After leaving the hospital, they'll receive neurodevelopmental testing at MU's Thompson Center for two years. With Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare.